Welcome everyone, good morning. Welcome to all the friends and family members of Isai Morgado and Olivia O'Hare. Um, let's pray before we start. As we start, we want to ask for God's presence and blessings this morning. Heavenly Father, we worship you this morning. Today, it's a very special day for Isai and for Olivia. Father, the best gift you can give us is your presence and your blessings. Please let your Holy Spirit guide us and lead us. May you unite Isai and Olivia forever. Please lead all things. We are in your hands. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. You may be seated. I can feel the excitement here between Isai and Olivia. It's a very, very special day. It's a special day because they are following one of God's greatest commandments and design. God designed marriage. He created marriage. Please understand, and they understand it, as they have spent uh, quite a few hours with me in counseling, that marriage is a spiritual thing. It's not so much an earthly thing, where there is just an attraction and they live happily ever after. It is more than an attraction. It's where the true love of God it's share between two people. And we are so excited for them because they have waited for years for this moment. They have waited so many years that Olivia already speaks Spanish. <laughs> and this is a blessing. We are so happy. And the whole congregation, El Amanecer de la Esperanza, rejoices in this union. We've seen Isai also grow, and he is the son of a, uh, or the grandson of a, one of our ministers here in the church. And we are very, very excited for them. But they understand that the most important decision in their lives was to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. But today, they are making the second most important decision in their lives. And that is to unite their lives to become one forever until death separates them or until Jesus comes. We are understanding every day what marriage is. Marriage is not butterflies in the stomach. Marriage is not uh, money. Um, they understand that uh, the most important thing is God in their relationship. That the Apostle Paul gives the formula for marriage. And that is love and respect. And I want to share just a 
brief portion in Ephesians chapter 5, um, there is a very deep and mysterious writing by the Apostle Paul as he writes to the church of Ephesus. And he says, and further, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. So submission to one another is out of the love for Christ. Because of Christ, you will love one another and have respect for one another. And then he gives some advice to women and men. He says, for wives, this means submit to your husband as to the Lord. For a husband is the head of his wife as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior of his body, the church. As the church submits to Christ, so you wives should submit to your husbands in everything, in a godly husband, as Isaiah is. For husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the church. He gave his life for her to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of God's word. He did this to present her to himself as a glorious church without a spot or wrinkle or any other blemish. Instead, she will be holy and without fault. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as they love their own bodies. As deep, he say, for a man who loves his wife actually shows love for himself. No one hates his own body, but feeds and cares for it. Just as Christ cares for the church and we are member of his body. As the scripture says, a man, this is the design of God, the creation of God, a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. This is a great mystery, for it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. So again, this is now the resuming the entire passage. Paul says, so again I say, each man must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. So there are two key words here, which is the formula for a successful marriage, love and respect. And I remind you, Isai, there is nothing greater than Olivia desires than to be loved. You can give her a 10 carat diamond ring, but if you don't love her, she will be miserable. And Olivia, there is nothing greater than Isai desires as the authority to be respected. So he can have the latest Ferrari, but if you don't respect him, he will not be happy. So God made Olivia to be loved. And God made Isai to be respected. And if you follow this simple advice, you will avoid a lot of headaches. There are ups and downs. But the most important is to pray. Come to God. If you make God the center of your marriage, you, you'll marry, you, you, your marriage will have victory. When the troubles come, when the hurricanes come, when the crisis come, you will be standing on the rock, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Today, you will be making 
some commitments to one another. This is a one-way ticket. There is no turning back. And that is the design of God. The design of God is that you are married to one woman, one man forever. And it doesn't matter what circumstances bring. That's why we say in health and in sickness, in richness, in poor, whatever situation comes your way, there is no looking back. And that is true love. Love is not a box of chocolate that you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> love is loving Olivia through the eyes of God. And the Apostle Paul says, as Christ loved the church, that he gave himself for her. And that is the way that the design of God will be success successful in your lives. So I understand... Um, You have written some uh, words for each other, so let's uh, take a moment. And who wants to go first? You <laughs> go first. Olivia will go first. Um, so we will have the bows as that uh, they will share some words to one another. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Proverbs 16, verse 9. When we first met, I made two promises. First, that I was never going to get married. The second, that I was never going to be a Christian. God sure has a funny way of working things out, doesn't he? With that being said, I could not be happier to have had my plans fall through. Today, I am replacing my so-called promises with eternal vows. You once told me that you always prayed for a girl like me. When I asked you, what did you pray for? You responded, well, I, uh, I prayed for a girl. <laughs> Your honesty, somewhat blunt at times, is one of the many things I find most endearing about you. While I may not have always understood the power of prayer, in a sense, I have always been praying for you too. Your presence lights up the room bringing a sense of openness and comfort to every conversation. Unless that conversation is about who is going to win the fantasy league that season. <laughs> Then it's every man for themselves. Isai, you make me feel like I can be the best version of myself, even when the enemy tries to convince me otherwise. Simply, I have been saved by Christ twice. The first time when he died on the cross for me. The second, when he led me to you so that I could know his unconditional love through you. I vow to live a life with you where we praise and love God and see that our relationship is a tool to serve him. I vow to always love you, appreciate you, and when it's needed, correct you in a kind and thoughtful manner. I vow to love and respect your parents, Miriam and Juan Carlos, as my own. I also vow to love and respect my new siblings, Adeli, Aaron, and Talia. I vow not to be in competition with you, Although, when we get home, I am totally going to crush you in Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, prometo practicar hablar español contigo y nuestra futura familia.
yo, Olivia, te tomo, Isaí, para que seas mi esposo. Prometo y hago pacto ante Dios y ante estos testigos de ser tu amada y fiel esposa en la abundancia y en la necesidad, en el gozo, en el dolor, en la enfermedad y en la salud, mientras ambos vivamos. Beautiful. Wow. Very well. It's your turn. <laughs> I know it's not a competition, but I should I should have gone first. <laughs> I should have gone first. Um, but before I read this, um, it's crazy. Uh, we we wrote the same thing. Like we spoke about the same thing. Hablamos sobre la misma cosa sin planear. Um, first of all, um, thank God for Jesus Christ, our Savior. Second of all, you look beautiful, and I really like the dress. I waited, I waited so long. I'm, I, I, tried, I tried to like see it before, but I couldn't. She didn't let me. But, all right. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a young boy that inherited a great kingdom of many peoples. Overwhelmed by the expectations set by his father, he called out to God, and God answered, Ask, what shall I give you? The boy, not knowing all that life had to offer him, he said, Lord, give your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern between good and evil. The story says the speech pleased the Lord, and he responded, Because you have asked this thing and have not asked for a long life, nor wealth, nor life, nor the life of your enemies. I will give you what you ask, and also what you have not asked, in long life, wealth, honor, and peace. One day, here comes the story, you guys know the story already, but uh, one day when I was telling my beautiful bride here how, wow, Olivia, prayer really works, and look at this, and look at that, and God really hears my prayers and answers me. She goes, uh -huh. Did you ever pray to marry someone like me? I go, yeah, definitely. I was, I was bluffing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and she goes, well, what did you ask God for? Um, and I said, well, I asked for a girl. And, well, that's it. <laughs> and she made, <laughs> she, made, she made fun of me for it. <laughs> but when praying about what to write for my wedding vows, God answered me once again. He brought me back to a time when I didn't know you, to a time when I prayed for a girl like you. The beauty is that I did not choose you because I couldn't. The truth is that you are better than anything I could have asked for because you are the woman God wanted for me. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts, says the Lord. Olivia, you are loving, caring, sweet, kind, beautiful, and yes, your favorite adjective, funny. <laughs> to me, you are my wisdom, my wealth, honor, and I plan on living a long life together. The Bible goes on to say that no one had been or will ever be as wise as King Solomon. Well, today I tell you in front of God and all of our loved ones that by marrying you, there has never been or will ever be a happier man ever after. I love you. Beautiful. As a symbol of this commitment, um, let's exchange the rings. These rings, they represent your belonging to each other. These rings um, are a symbol that every time you see it, you remember that you are bound, that you have a soul tie with someone else, with Isai in your case, and you with Olivia. So Olivia, take Isai's ring 
He said, hey, you're going to take Olivia's ring. And uh, we're going to start with you first now. <laughs> and as you place the ring in her finger, I would like you to repeat these words with me. Olivia. Olivia. Today. Today. In the presence of friends and family. In the presence of friends and family. And before God. And before God. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. Today. Today, I renounce, I renounce to, all other women, to all other women, and I take you, and I take you as, my beloved wife, as my beloved wife. I promise, I promise before God, before God to, love you, to love you, to take care of you, to, take care of you, to, provide, for you, to provide for you, to protect you, to protect you in all the ways, in all the ways I can. I pray to God. I pray to God that He may lead our family. That He may lead our family. So that we may worship Him. So that we may worship Him. And honor Him. And honor Him. In everything we do. In everything we do. I take you. I take you. As my wife. As my wife. Amen. Amen. Okay, so Olivia, take um, your ring, um, or oh, his ring, and now <laughs> as you. Place it in his finger. Please repeat these words. Isai. Isai. Today. Today. Before God. Before God. My friends and family. My friends and family. I take you. I take you. As my husband. As my husband. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. Today. Today. I renounce. I renounce to all other men, to all other men and, I promise and I promise to love you, to, love you, to, keep, you, to keep you, to help you, to, help you, to, be, here for you always. to be here for you always. I pray to God, I pray to, God to, be a wise, uh, wife, to be a wise wife and I pray to God, and I pray to God that, he will always lead me, that he will always lead me to make you, to make you a joyous a joyous husband. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say to you. I say to you. I take you forever. I take you forever. Amen. 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 Now, as we play a song, they will step back here, and we will do a uh, unity planting, <laughs> and this represents becoming one. So, Olivia, if you can help her this way, you can go with her and, and help her there. En tus manos está Desde el momento en que despierto Hasta el anochecer Yo cantaré De la bondad de Dios En mi vida ha sido bueno sido tan, tan fiel, con mi ser, con cada aliento, yo cantaré de la bondad de Dios. cerca estás en la oscuridad 
Te conozco como padre y como amigo fiel Mi vida está en la bondad de Dios sido bueno en mi vida ha sido tan tan fiel con mi ser con cada aliento yo cantaré de la bondad de Dios en mi vida Final blessing, I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Radames Fernandez to please come. And uh, I'm going to ask also El Pastor Alfonso Morgado, pase por aquí como ministro, para que rodiemos. We will now give them the blessing of the Lord.
Vamos a rodearlos. We're going to surround them as we pray and we bless them, led by our senior pastor, Juan Fernandez. Oremos al Señor. Bendito eres tú, Señor, nuestro Dios y nuestro Padre. Al invocar tu nombre en este momento sabemos que tus ojos están hacia nosotros porque tú amas a Isaí, a Olivia, porque tú lo elegiste en Jesús antes de la fundación del mundo para que fuesen santos y sin mancha delante de ti. Lo sacaste a cada uno del vientre de su respectiva madre, los, tra los trajiste a la existencia, desde entonces tus ojos han estado fijos sobre ellos, guiando sus vidas. Por ser tus hijos, yo sé que tú amas este momento, Señor. Porque para ti ellos son honorables y de alta estima. Primeramente por el amor con el cual tú le has amado desde la eternidad y después por la manifestación gloriosa de la bondad y misericordia tuya para con ellos en Cristo Jesús nuestro Señor. Además porque te revelaste a ellos y en ellos, oh Dios, tú has determinado un propósito santo y por eso tú has unido sus vidas hoy. Ellos han venido delante de ti, Señor, y vienen a buscar tu bendición. Yo invoco tu nombre que es grande y temible. Tú llenas los cielos y los cielos de los cielos no se pueden contener. Y eres fiel. Y tú dijiste, Señor, que si te invocamos con amor y fe, tú escuchas la oración. Me interesa sobremanera que tú escuches esta oración a favor de Isaí y de Olivia. Señor, Padre mío, Padre nuestro, apelo a tu bondad y a tu misericordia en Cristo Jesús. Y te ruego que en este momento hay un vaciamiento de tu gloria sobre los dos y sean llenos del Espíritu Santo, oh Dios, en una manera perenne y para siempre. Vengo, Señor Dios, y lleno mi boca de tu alabanza y también de la unción poderosa de tu palabra. Y me abrazo y me aferro a tu pacto fiel en Jesucristo. Y el pacto eterno que hiciste, Señor, en Él. Y a través, Señor, de la historia de tu pueblo Israel. El pacto que hiciste con Abraham, con Isaac y con Jacob. El pacto, el pacto que hiciste con las promesas fieles a David. El pacto sobre todo que hiciste con Jesús, nuestro Salvador. Invocando tu nombre, oh Dios, y, confia y confiados todos en este pacto, vengo a rogarte tu bendición para esta unión. Pongo, Señor, mi mano sobre las manos de ellos, como si fuera ahora tu mano divina, tu mano paternal, para que ellos sean benditos para siempre. Bendito eres, Isaí, delante de Dios, tu Hacedor. El Dios de Abraham, de Isaac y de Jacob, el Dios de Jesucristo te bendiga. Eres bendito. Siempre tú lo has sido, pero hoy el Dios del cielo, así como hizo con Jesús, según el Salmo 45, o oh, así como hizo en Jesús, bendiciendo las bodas de Él con la iglesia, así Dios te bendice. Te bendice en este día. Bendice tu cuerpo. Yo pido salud para ti. Que la enfermedad nunca te toque. Que Jehová Rafa siempre te sane. Que tú seas un varón vigoroso, fuerte, robusto. También que tu mente sea privilegiada, brillante. Que nunca haya trastorno. Que la paz de Dios que sobrepasa todo entendimiento siempre rija tus pensamientos. Sobre todo tu espíritu sea lleno. Y el Dios del cielo te dé sabiduría, conocimiento, inteligencia, poder, unción, temor de Jehová. Y haya guianza en tu vida para siempre. Que tú seas un varón de Dios. Un hombre conforme al corazón de Dios. 
Dios te bendice como persona, Dios te bendice como hombre, Dios te bendice como esposo. Que tú seas el esposo ideal. Que tú seas el hombre que Dios ha elegido para Olivia. Para que la mime, para que la guarde, para que la respete. Para que, le, para que tú le seas fiel. Para que tú, junto con ella, puedan los dos cumplir el propósito santo de la voluntad del Señor. Amén. Eres bendito. Bendita tu entrada, bendita tu salida como varón de Dios. Dios te rodee, el bien y la misericordia te cubran siempre. Y Dios vele por ti, por cada paso de tu vida, hasta que cumple el propósito contigo. Bendita eres tú, Olivia, delante del Señor. El Dios que te ama y te sacó del vientre de tu madre y te eligió para salvación. Y, y, te, y te ha guiado con la pericia de sus manos. Y te trajo hoy al altar y ha elegido varón para ti, para formar un hogar. Eres bendita. Eres una mujer virtuosa. Dios bendiga tu vida como bendijo la vida de Sara, de Rebeca y también de Ana y de otras mujeres santas. Dios bendiga tu cuerpo y tú seas llena del Espíritu Santo y tú disfrutes de salud y nunca te toque ni llegue a tu vida la enfermedad. Dios te dé una mente privilegiada, una mente transparente, una mente brillante, una, mer, una mente iluminada. Y que tu espíritu esté lleno del temor del Señor. Amén. Que Dios te bendiga como esposa. Amén. Que tú seas la mujer idónea, la mujer hacendosa, Amén. la mujer virtuosa. Una mujer capacitada que sirve a su marido y que sabe, y que sabe ser idónea. Como compañera, bendita eres del Señor. En este momento los bendigo a los dos en la fidelidad del Dios fiel y en el pacto eterno. Y bendigo también vuestra descendencia. Benditos son los hijos que han de nacer de ustedes dos. Que el Señor Dios, el Dios del linaje, le dé, le dé una simiente santa. Y los hijos de los hijos de los hijos de los hijos hasta mil generaciones sean benditos. Que, que, vos, que vosotros seáis una pareja felices, que sean, que sean muy felices los dos, que sean ricos en buenas obras, que Dios los guarde de malas noticias, que Dios los guarde de accidentes, que Dios los guarde de brujería, de hechicería y de maleficio, que Dios los guarde de malas personas, que el hogar de ustedes sea un cielo en la tierra, que crezcan, Multiplíquense al norte, al sur, al este y al oeste. Amén. Sea Dios vuestra cobertura. Cúmplase cada promesa de Dios en vuestras vidas. Amén. Que vuestros ojos vean, que vuestros oídos oigan y que vuestros corazones entiendan. Amén. Señor nuestro Dios, Padre, oye esta oración y séllala con el sello de tu amor y de tu fidelidad. Que sean benditos para siempre. Que la presencia del Señor desde ahora y para siempre sea manifestada. De tal manera que todos aquellos que se relacionen con ustedes sean bendecidos. Y todos vean que ustedes son muy amados por Dios. Los bendigo en el nombre del Señor, de su palabra, de su pacto y de su generosidad. El bien y la misericordia los sigan siempre. Sea Dios sobre ustedes como un monumento, como un sello. Como un altar Amén. Bendito sea Jehová Amén. Que hoy el fuego de la aprobación Caiga sobre este altar Para Dios manifestar Su, su contentamiento y su alegría Por vuestra unión Amén. Gracias oh Dios por escucharnos En el nombre de Jesucristo Tu Hijo A quien sea la gloria por los siglos de los siglos Aleluya Amén, Amén. By the powers vested in me as a minister of the state of New York, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Morgado.
Thank you.